So a question that I've been asked to answer many times is how do you love your work and how do you create work as, as your art and, and, and all of those types of esoteric type of questions around, whoa, what do you mean you love what I do? And people struggle with that because I don't know that they've allowed themselves to be happy enough to love what they do. Instead it's, I have to do this so that I have this. I have a mortgage payment to make, so I have to make money. I have a family to raise, so I have to make money. I have car payments, so I have to make money. I have blah, 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 blah. They have, they have the story in their head. And as a result, they do the thing. Now, a lot of us get into the pool business because we're going to make money at it. And money is very important for sure. However, money without happiness is, money's just a magnifier. If you're happy person, you're a happy person without money, having money magnifies that happiness. But if you're miserable without it, money's just going to magnify the misery. So why not choose happiness? Why not choose I'm going to love what I do and find the passion for it? Now granted, not everyone is passionate about everything they do in life, but you can be. It really starts back with a choice. I could choose to be happy in this situation, I could choose not to be. I could choose to be excited to move forward or I could be not excited to move forward. It's up to you. It really is. On on the on people's deathbed, one of the one of the five most common things regrets that people have is I didn't allow myself to be happier. Well, to me, happiness and passion sort of go hand in hand because if you're passionate about it, you're engaged in it, you're loving it, you're enjoying it. Well, when you're enjoying it, you become happy about it. It doesn't have to be a sport, but it can be. It doesn't have to be painting, but it can be. It doesn't have to be, you know, doing a, a, a hobby. It can be the thing that you do to make money and make a living and have a, have a lifestyle a result of it, as a result of it. And for me, that's what I've done with pools, is I've decided, consciously made the decision that I'm going to love what I do and I'm only going to do the work that I love to do. Here's the other part of it. If you keep taking crappy work that you hate to do, it's a pretty hard road to try to figure out how you love the stuff if you don't like it. Now, I suppose you could convince yourself that, well, I don't really like it, but I'll learn to like it because it puts food on the table and then you kind of get like this, which is really not passionate. Or you can say, why not just take the work that I love? Why not? Let me figure it out. Let me figure out the thing that I really like about this business and I'll do that. And lo and behold, the energy steps up because it feels good with what you're doing. The customers step up because they feel your energy and your passion toward it. And next thing you know, you're a passionate person and you're going after it. So that's where, to me, my work has become my art because I've learned to love the process and do all the pieces. I love all the pieces. There's no part of that that I don't love. But I've taken that and I've translated it into who and what I am and therefore what I deliver to people. And that's become a part of me. When I work on something, that thing becomes my legacy. It becomes a part of me and therefore I love it. Now, that happens to be on the construction side, but it could equally be in the service industry. It could equally be in renovation work. Find the thing that you love and work toward that and, and you'll get plenty of work. Yeah, at first you might have to take some stuff that isn't perfect. We all have to take stuff that isn't perfect at a time. But at some point, if you realize and you learn to love a certain thing, you'll get more of that work than you know what to do with. And that's, that's really our secret in all of this is we've just decided to do what we love. And that allows us to stay happy every day. And it, decides, it allows me to be passionate about doing it. That I can't wait to get there to do the next step. I can't wait for the next thing because it's going to be so cool and fun and the design and the desire and the, to get out there and do it. And that's me every single day is getting out there and loving that thing because I didn't take the stuff I don't like. I only take the stuff that I like.